Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the United States and Canada. It's a joint production, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Robert Eggers, and this film is called The Lighthouse. So The Lighthouse is set in the 1890s. It's about two men who are in charge of looking out for a lighthouse for four weeks on an island by themselves. So they get there, there's an older man and a younger man. The older man is experienced at this type of thing, and he starts to outline what is expected of the younger lighthouse keeper. And so they get there and they start to know each other and the longer they stay the more the isolation is starting to play havoc on their minds so the younger one especially is starting to see things that he doesn't know if exists or not and so isolation can be a devastating thing and then all of a sudden they realize that there's a storm coming and the storm threatens uh, to actually keep them stranded there longer for four weeks but whether or not their psychological health is going to allow them to stay there longer than four weeks and keep them safe is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on The Lighthouse. For those of you who are in the horror world, you will remember a movie called The Witch. Now, The Witch, I thought, was atmospherically brilliant, and Robert Eggers is a very, very talented director. And so I liked that movie. A lot of people didn't, and it's a movie that did split audiences down the middle, but I could just appreciate it for creating a character of an invisible presence, and not a lot of directors can do that. So Robert Eggers is definitely a director to look out for. So coming into his follow-up film, The Lighthouse, now everyone under the sun is praising this movie, and I had alarm bells ringing into that. Is that, okay... Are they praising it because it's such a brilliant movie, or are they praising it because of the reputation of the director? And that can be a thing. You know, I'm not saying if you liked it, it's because you're a massive fan of Robert Eggers, and you know the, the reputation is playing a part. But for me, it, it has happened in the past, where a lot of directors get by on their name solely. And I think that it can be a little bit of a curse, is because, all right, are you judging a film based on the fact that you thought it was a great movie, or are you basing it on the fact that he's the director's previous works were so good. And so I was thinking, all right, well, I know that M. Night Shyamalan is a victim of that. Not a victim in the sense that all of his movies are brilliant, but I believe that there are a few of his movies that have been uh, absolutely panned to no end because it was the in thing to hate his work. And so that was just my personal opinion, is that I think he was a little bit unfairly treated. Although he has really got back on the horse recently, I think his other films aren't as bad as everyone says they are, but it was kind of like the in thing to absolutely hate his, his work. And so that is an indication on the opposite side. But on the other side, there are some directors that get kind of a free pass. And so I was wondering, is Robert Eggers that kind of uh, director? Is that everyone was just going on and on about it, how good this movie was, but I didn't really see too many negative reviews. And so I think, all right, well, alarm bells are ringing. I come into it with skepticism. I was very, very excited to see this movie, uh, but I was wondering or not whether uh, this is a victim of hype or whether or not it was actually going to match the hype. And I will say that I'm one of the few that doesn't really think this movie deserves the hype it gets. Now, I'm not saying that just to be different, but if I'm brutally, brutally honest, I just I think this movie is overrated. Now, I will say there are absolutely brilliant aspects of this film. Now, the atmosphere is brilliant. I, I thought that it's the invisible presence, once again, that Robert Eggers manages to create. And the invisible presence and the scary aspect of this movie is isolation. Now, the isolation in this movie, I, I could feel these characters going crazy, and I was going a little bit crazy as well. And it's because it's a very surreal experience, and I actually thought, all right, you're slowly seeping into the minds of these lighthouse keepers. I thought that the grey, the black and white uh, cinematography really helps get you into the otherworldly presence, is that this island, they're very secluded, and it may as well have been a different universe, is because, all right, they are the only two humans on this, uh, you know, this little island, uh, on this little planet, and there was no one else around, and so it almost felt, all right, they're the only two in existence, and if you're the only two in existence, then things are going to start to play on your mind. And I thought Robert Eggers uses that brilliantly well. And the majority of this movie actually plays out in a very vivid sort of nightmare. And I thought, all right, well, it's very similar to The Witch, is that it's a different story, but it's that invisible presence of isolation. It's the invisible presence of paranoia. What you're seeing, is it real or not? is that that can play mind tricks. And I thought the mind tricks in this movie were very vivid and they came to life in a very horrifying way. But the best aspect of this movie 
was the brilliant performances from William Defoe and Robert Pattinson. Now, Robert Pattinson, ever since Twilight, I, he's kind of like a joke. Everyone was saying he, he's just, you know, one of these actors where he comes into a teenage sort of movie, everyone's going to salivate over him, and he's going to be you know, classed as... Uh, fantastic by younger audiences, but the older audi audiences are just going to see him as, you know, this teenage actor who played in a very popular series and kind of not, not, not a great actor, but he's uh, someone who uh, appeals to a younger audience. But after Twilight, I will say he's definitely like Daniel Radcliffe and Elijah Wood, is that this guy can actually act, is that he's been in movies that has demonstrated how good he is, but I definitely think he saved his best performance from this for, uh, for this movie, is that the way he talks, now they use very different sort of accents, and the, the overall language that is used in the film is very similar to The Witch, is that it is very different. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but Robert Pattinson did a great job, is that I didn't feel as though I was watching Robert Pattinson, I felt as though I was watching a man on this island being a lighthouse keeper. And so it takes a lot to actually push away from your name, push away from your reputation and create a, a, a character where you know you don't know that Robert Pattinson is actually playing him. So I thought his performance was absolutely outstanding. But it was actually, uh, I actually thought he was playing second fiddle to Willem Dafoe. Now Willem Dafoe plays the older lighthouse keeper and he was absolutely phenomenal. I mean this this guy can act again, and so Robert, uh, Pat, uh, Robert Eggers has actually got two very, very high quality actors, and he's got the best from them. And so I just thought their performances as they start to descend into insanity was absolutely fantastic, and I just really, really appreciated how fine these actors are, and the performances that they give, I definitely think deserves wi uh, wide recognition. And I think that, you know, they should have actually got nominations as far as the Oscars, uh, Oscars are concerned, or at least Willem Dafoe should have. And so I, I think that it was overlooked. Uh, maybe the, the Oscars don't look at these kind of films as much as others, but I definitely think they deserved more recognition. And so that was absolutely fantastic. And there are some set pieces that are very, very unnerving. And just the way that Robert Eggers uses the camera, I thought it tells a story of its own. So that was all very, very good. But as I said, is this a masterpiece? No, I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think it's a masterpiece is because it felt like a stage play. Now, it's a very interesting stage play, don't get me wrong, but it's a stage play. The movie is basing itself more on the mentality of these two individuals, but the two individuals is basically the whole film. Uh, there's no real story to it, it's just a slow descent into madness. And so for that, I thought as a feature length film, it kind of outstays its welcome in some parts. I thought, all right, this the, the movie is starting to drag a little bit. And so you, you have impressive visuals, you have you know a very eerie atmosphere, but when you've got two characters, it feels like a stage play. And for a stage play, I think 90 minutes, uh, it, it goes for a bit too long. And so I thought, well, it needs a little bit, uh, something else to inject a little bit more energy into it, because I was starting to look at my watch by the time it finished. Is that, all right, I, I never, kind of completely checked out, but there were moments where it was I was threatening to, and I thought, well, the reason is, is because it just the content of it, okay, it is impressive, but it's starting to wear a little bit thin, so for a stage play kind of film, it needed to be a little bit shorter, and that's the reason why I don't think it is a masterpiece. I will say it's very impressive, but as far as a masterpiece is concerned, I definitely think Robert Eggers is playing off his reputation a little bit. Now, that's just my personal... I'm not saying everyone who liked this movie is just liking it because it's Robert Eggers and his previous movie. I'm not saying everyone is like that, but I will say that I'm not... I, I wouldn't be surprised if some people out there may like it just from the fact that it is Robert Eggers and his previous film because I just... I don't get all the love that this movie has is that it is very eerie, very impressive, very atmospheric, but a little bit too long for the type of film that it wants to be. So that was my criticism of The Lighthouse. It's still a very good film, absolutely phenomenal acting, and the atmosphere is uh, second to none. So for that, I am going to highly recommend The Lighthouse, but I just don't think it's the masterpiece that everyone says it is. So overall for this film, very interesting. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.